Hey y'all, happy Wednesday, happy November. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Now, a lot of people are upset that I haven't talked about the Kamari situation and about the twerking and the party. Everybody wants to know my thoughts and opinions on it. Let's start with um, Kamari has two parents that love her that already disciplined her together. That's what you call good parenting. So let's listen to a little bit of CJ's video, talking to Nike and Kamari and the whole situation, and then we're gonna talk about it. Of you dancing. I didn't wanna see that. Now they have to see this video of you, and I'm pretty sure they don't wanna see this. So now look, we're even. High five, baby girl. You did it. You got over it. You gonna give me a high five and leave daddy hanging? You got through it. Was that so hard? Did you have fun at the party? No. Okay, so Nike, you proud of me? That's good. I'm a simple fact, y'all. He did never want to discipline Kamari. When he first started, his heart was bleeding. He's like, I don't really want to do this, but it has to be done because I've been doing this, and it's just, it's like she, she know I'm the mean one, but coming from him, I definitely think she got it. So you're not gonna be bad no more, huh? Are you gonna get good grades? Get them grades up? Are you sorry? Apologize to your mama and me. Yeah. Sorry, mommy. What about me? Thank you, baby. That's that's real powerful right there. Give me a hug. I want a hug. <laughs> now I'm gonna go cry my game room. And yes, I definitely think CJ probably cried after he punished Kamari because he doesn't want to have to do that. But he is the father, and he has to. Kamari's parents came together and disciplined her the way that they saw fit. What else do you need to say? People think terrible parenting is when your child is doing something wrong. I don't agree with that. I think terrible parenting is knowing your child did something wrong and then making excuses for it, i.e. Charlene. Basically, like I said, the internet loves to twist things around and misconstrue things and make a whole bunch of confusion and stuff like that. So like Julia said, my, they go through the ups and downs and the normal things what normal siblings go through. So, like I said, I yeah. can't control their emotions and their feelings about each other, but they will respect each other and they will get along. And from Julia's, from what Julia said, she was basically putting a story out there and they basically put another story in front of another story. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you don't know where that sound came from, that is when Julia decided to get her grown tail on Instagram on a lie, knowing she wasn't supposed to, we talked about beating up Kamari. Yes, CJ So Cool's daughter. As you can see, Charlene didn't tell her it was wrong. She didn't tell her she shouldn't be talking like that. She says, well, I can't control if she's doing that. I can't control it. She says, they don't have to like each other, but they're gonna respect each other. Well, how are you gonna teach them to respect each other if you're not even teaching them to like each other? And every single time her children do something wrong, oh, it's normal, kids do stuff, it's, it's normal, it's normal. But every single time Kamari did something wrong in her care, what happened? It became news. Everybody knew about it, everybody heard about it. She made a whole video speaking negatively about this child that she acted like she actually loved and cared about. Let me give you another example. Let's talk about when Julia got into a fight at school. Monday is here and as you guys know, Julia got suspended on Thursday. So basically they gave her a cool down for Friday just to let everything cool down, mellow down. And we went for the meeting today and they suspended her for another week. Yes, you heard that right. Julia had a fight at school. And remember, the girl was talking about her, I guess, bullying her, as they want to say, but never touched Julia. But Julia decided to put her hands on the girl and beat the girl up. And of course, Charlene is going to have an excuse for her daughter. So yeah, Royalty Nation, she'll be home with us for the whole week. So hopefully we'll get some interesting videos going on. Maybe I'll take Julia out, get some girl time. But And then she even talked about getting some girl time now with her daughter. And I think they went and got their nails done or something. So you tell me, your daughter gets in a fight at school over words, beats the girl up, gets put in handcuffs, you gotta pick her up, and then she's suspended for a week and some days, and you take her out to get her nails done. And that's a good parent. Now go ahead and listen to Charlene make excuses for Jalea fighting at school. Um, as you guys know, this whole situation is over pettiness and over drama and over, you know, teenage high schooler stuff. So at the end of the day, um, it really wasn't Jalea's fault. She was just basically defending herself, defending her family. So Jalea was defending herself, defending her family. So you're telling me, a girl that is talking about Jalea, talking bad about her, whatever she's doing, Jalea decides to beat the girl up and that's defending herself? Why do you need to put your hands on another child? Did they put their hands on you first? I don't think so. 
But you see how Charlene always has an excuse? Oh, she's defending the family. Of course, you know, that's what she's gonna do. Well, Charlene, I didn't know you and your mother and all the kids go to the same school as Julia. I didn't know this one girl was beating all of y'all up and Julia had to jump in and defend you. And shout out to Cool SB because he posted this on his YouTube channel. And it's about Jalea twerking, yes, at school. And this is when she was about 15. So yes, as you can see, this is Jalea with her friends twerking at school. They're hitting her on the butt. They're recording it and yes, posting it for the world to see. Guess what we never heard Charlene talk about? This very incident right here. Her daughter recording herself twerking at school, other girls hitting her on the butt and posting it online. Did Charlene come out here and say, that's wrong with you, Jalea, you should've never did that. I'm taking your phone, I'm taking your computer, whatever. Nope. So, Charlene never even spoke on this situation. I wonder why. So in conclusion, yes, Kamari did do wrong, but guess what? Her two parents handled the situation and they didn't make excuses for their child. Charlene, on the other hand, who has no father for her three children, makes excuses every single time or doesn't even talk about when her children do wrong. Good parenting versus bad parenting. If your child does wrong and you make excuses for them, bad parent. If your child does wrong and you correct them and you let them know that it wasn't right, good parent. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on all of this in the comment section. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will definitely see you in the next one.